the engineering degree tier list for 2023. In this video, we are going to be ranking the best engineering degrees from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And if you appreciate these types of videos, go ahead and slam that like button like I slam way too much coffee on a day-to-day -day basis. Nice. And let's jump into it. So I'm gonna have to go through these very quickly because of course there's a lot of engineering degrees and I don't want this to be like an hour long video. So number one on the list is going to be systems engineering. Now, one thing that I'm adding into this year's list that I didn't have in last year's that is an improvement in my opinion is I'm gonna be talking about the amount of demand at the entry level, right? So in the last year, I've become a big fan of using LinkedIn to determine the demand of the career at the entry level. And that's what I'm gonna be adding onto this year's list. And then I'm also gonna be adding glass door as well because you're able to kind of separate things a little bit better than BLS. All right, so when you look at the early career pay for systems engineers, you're going to see $72,000 a year. Mid-career pay is $130,000. That comes out to a salary score that according to my degree ranker is a 99.53, which is excellent. Now, a few years ago when I made the college degree ranker, the demand score for systems engineering was actually pretty low, but we have seen an incredible increase in the last few years. So the demand score is 14, but we'll get to the change here in a moment and the meaning score is 55%. If you're not familiar with these scores, just watch any one of my, you know, is a degree worth it videos and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So according to Glassdoor, systems engineers make $111,000 a year. And if you look on LinkedIn at the entry level, you type in systems engineer, you're going to see 70,151 results. That is really, really good, especially for an engineering career. But you have to remember the degree is different than the career. This is incredibly important, this is key. So this is one of those very niche degrees, right? When you look at the degree ranker, you're gonna see 987 graduates per year. So that's very niche, but there is a lot of demand for systems engineers. So the, what this typically tells me is it's a pretty good degree, it's not terrible by any means, but you would probably be better off by getting a little bit more of a general degree. And the reason for this, I've explained it in many other videos, is because employers are going to recognize the degree more more often, right? It basically has a brand name built in. And so getting something like a software engineering degree would probably be much better in this case. And I just realized that I spent way too much time on that first one. So I'm really going to try to speed up after this. And of course, I know I'm going to get people in the comments section. Oh, you didn't spend enough time explaining. But then if I'm detailed, I'm going to get other people in the comments section saying, oh, this video is way too long. You need to speed things up. So you can never make everyone happy, but I'll do my best. So last year, systems engineering was B tier. This year, I'm actually going to go ahead and put it into to A tier. Next one on the list is agricultural engineering. Early career pay here is $59,000. Mid career pay is $98,000. Salary score is 65, which isn't great. The demand score is 48, which also isn't great. The meaning is going to be 62%, which is good. And the total amount of graduates is 1,063 per year. Agricultural engineers make $75,000 a year, according to Glassdoor. And according to LinkedIn, there's about 1,600 results at the entry level, which isn't great. So overall, I'm gonna have to to put this one into D tier. Next one on the list is one of the best degrees out there, and that is going to be software engineering. So early career pay here is 69,000. Mid career pay is 112,000. Salary score is 86. Number of jobs available is an incredible 77,000. That means the demand score is off the charts at 127, but the meaning score is 39%. So a lot of people don't find their jobs very meaningful. The total amount of bachelor graduates is 1,060 per year. According to Glassdoor, software engineers make $105,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn at the entry level, there is a whopping 432,000 results. Mind blowing. So yeah, I've talked about this before. Software engineering, software development, one of the best careers you can possibly go into. Just an insane amount of opportunity. I actually interviewed Antoine on my channel recently, who is somebody who started off at kind of like an entry level position in tech. And then he moved into different positions until he ended up in tech sales. And from tech sales, he was able to actually make over $540,000 a year. And the cool thing about tech is once you've broken in, it's really easy for you to 
actually move around to different positions. This one is going to go into S tier. So if you're somebody who wants to break into tech as fast as possible, you want to make money really quickly. You don't necessarily want to go through the whole engineering curriculum, which takes like five to six years on average. Definitely check out that interview with Antoine. And we both recommend doing it through a company called Course Careers. Course Careers helps people get into entry level tech careers and they don't require a college degree and they don't require any experience. There's literally so many people getting jobs with course careers that I can't even interview all of them. I was trying to interview them and it's just way too much for me, but I do have a bunch of interviews on this channel. I also post a daily testimonials on the community tab as well because we're just getting people results left and right. So if you wanna check out their free training, I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you choose to use their paid product, which will have some advanced training as well as getting you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies, you can use my coupon as well, Shane50. I'll put that down there as well. Next one on the list is going to be aerospace engineering. So early career pay is 69,000, mid-career pay is 118,000, salary score is 89, that's pretty respectable. The demand score is 100, the meaning is 58%, which is decent, and there are 4,000 bachelor grads per year. According to Glassdoor, they make about $95,000 a year, and on LinkedIn, you're gonna see about 15,000 results, which is pretty decent. So overall, this one is gonna go into A tier. Architectural engineering is next on the list. And with this one, you see an early career pay of $61,000 a year. Mid-career pay is 97,000. Salary score is relatively low for an engineering degree at 67. The demand score is 98, pretty good. And meaning is 57%. But there are only about 672 bachelor grads per year. If you look up architectural engineering on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $86,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 14,400 results. So this is one of those where there's not that many graduates, but there's a lot of jobs. And what that tells me is people are able to get these jobs by getting more general degrees. So it's another one of those that's, it's not bad by any means, but you know, especially engineering degrees, most engineering degrees are pretty good. But with that being said, there's probably other engineering degrees that are better to get. So this one is gonna go into D tier. Biomedical engineering is next on the list. And this one, you're making $66,000 early career pay. Mid-career pay is 114,000. Salary score is a respectable 83. Demand score is 100. Meaning is really good at 71%. I believe that's actually the highest meaning score on the entire list. And every year, there's about 6,900 graduates. According to Glassdoor, biomedical engineers make $84,000 a year. And if you look up biomedical engineering on LinkedIn, you're going to see 6,500 results. Now, something that's not as clear in the data, but it's actually a really big problem when you investigate it and look into it, is that you can actually get into biomedical engineering with just a mechanical engineering degree, right? So you don't have to get a biomedical engineering degree to get into this. So that's kind of a huge problem because you can get a mechanical engineering degree and get into this, but if you get a biomedical engineering degree, you're not going to be able to do as much stuff as mechanical engineers can do. But with that being said, biomedical engineering is one of my dark horse careers. Um, there's just so much cool stuff that you can do with it, and I could see it really getting big in the future. A lot of it does have to do with things that are outside of our control, like regulations, et cetera, but there's a lot of really cool stuff happening in the biomedical in industry. So biomedical engineering is gonna go into B tier. Next on the list is chemical engineering. Early career pay here is 72,000, mid-career pay is 127,000, salary score is 97, demand score is 101, meaning is 56%, and there's 10,700 bachelor graduates per year. According to Glassdoor, chemical engineers make $100,000 a year, and according to LinkedIn, there is 23,000 jobs available. So overall, chemical engineering is very solid. It's more flexible than a degree like petroleum engineering, for instance, but it's not nearly as flexible as electrical engineering or mechanical engineering. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be civil engineering. And the early career pay here is 60,000. Mid-career pay is 102,000. Number of jobs available is 11,000. Demand score is a very healthy 103. Meaning score is 65%. And the bachelor grads per year is 13,000. According to Glassdoor, civil engineers make $78,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there are 73,000 civil engineering jobs available at the entry level. So this is one of those that's good, but not great. Civil engineering isn't gonna be super flexible flexible like mechanical engineering is. The pay is relatively low for an engineering degree as well, but overall it's still pretty good. I'm gonna put this one into B tier. Next one on the list is computer engineering, and this is another really good one. 
Early career pay is $72,000 a year. Mid career pay is $120,000. Salary score is a very healthy 93. Demand score is off the charts at 107, meaning is 46%, so a little bit low there. And there are 7,200 bachelor grads per year. According to Glassdoor, computer engineers make $73,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there is a whopping 109,000 results available when you look at computer engineering. Now keep in mind, sometimes when you see the salaries for different tech industries, um, there's so many different positions in tech. So when you, you look at 73,000 for computer engineer, it's not that impressive, but there's just so many different positions that you can move into. So I can almost guarantee you that after a few years, you're gonna be making more than that. So yeah, computer engineering, very, very good. Uh, this one is gonna go into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be electrical engineering. Early career pay here is 70,000, mid career pay is 119,000, a very healthy salary score of 91. The demand score is off the charts at 109. The meaning is 54%, so even a little bit better. And there are 16,000 bachelor grads per year. According to Glassdoor, electrical engineers make $87,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, it's even better at 149,000 results at the entry level. So electrical engineering makes a little bit less than computer engineering engineering, but there's also more demand overall, and I think it's just more flexible. You can go into a lot of the same jobs with electrical engineering that you can go into with computer engineering. So this one also goes into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be environmental engineering. Early career pay here is 58,000. Mid career pay is 100,000. So salary score is relatively low at 65. The demand score is 100, but you have to realize that this is engineering degrees versus all other degrees and engineering degrees are just much better than almost any other type of degree. Meaning score is 63. So meaning score is relatively high. According to Glassdoor, environmental engineers make $98,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, environmental engineering has about 23,000 results at the entry level. So there is actually a massive amount of opportunity popping up in the energy industry as well as sustainability. Venture capitalists, which in my opinion are the smartest people in the entire world, are absolutely pumping money into the green energy and sustainability industries. So I do think this one is actually on the rise and I'm actually gonna put this one into B tier. Next one on the list is industrial engineering. Early career pay is 67,000. Mid career pay is 110,000. Salary score is 81. The demand score is 101 and meaning is 46%. The total amount of bachelor grads per year is 5,200. According to Glassdoor, industrial engineers make $86,000 a year. And if you look them up on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 28,000 results at the entry level. So yeah, another really solid one. Industrial engineering is one of my personal favorites. I think it's a great combination of business skills and engineering engineering skills. You're basically learning logistics and operations management and then combining that with, you know, practical problem solving engineering skills. So overall, this one is going to go into A tier. I also interviewed another person on this channel, Joshua, who was going through industrial engineering. He realized it's probably going to take him five to six years. And the only reason he was doing it was to make money. And so he decided to go into tech sales instead. You can check out that interview right here. Next one on the list is marine engineering. So early career pay here is $72,000 a year. Mid career pay is 123,000. Salary score is a healthy 95. The demand score is very low for an engineering degree at 37, but the meaning is 63%. And the total amount of bachelor grads per year is 439. So that's not very good. According to Glassdoor, they make around $107,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 2,600 results at the entry level. So yeah, this is another one of those where you can probably get a lot of the same jobs with a more general degree like mechanical engineering. So I'm gonna have to put this one into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be materials engineering. Early career pay here is going to be 69,000 a year. Mid career pay is 106,000. Salary score is a pretty good 82. Demand score is 53. And overall, there's 1,500 bachelor grads per year, so that's okay. According to Glassdoor, material engineers make $84,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there's 26,000 results at the entry level. So overall, this is another one of those where you can probably get a lot of the same jobs with something like a chemical engineer degree, but it's still pretty good and it's a little bit more specialized. And there honestly is a lot of opportunity in materials engineering. I mean, there's this place called Silicon Valley for a reason. So yeah, this one overall, I'm going to put it into C tier. 
Next one on the list is mechanical engineering. This is one that's very general, a jack of all trades. Uh, can be a really good one if you're not sure what to go into. Early career pay is 66,000. Mid career pay is 110,000. Salary score is 81. Demand score is 105. Meaning score is 51. And bachelor grads per year is 32,000. According to Glassdoor, mechanical engineers make $80,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, mechanical engineering has 109,000 results. So definitely one of the best ones. Overall, mechanical engineering, very solid across the board. This one goes into A tier. Mechatronics engineering is next on the list. This is one that everybody wanted me to talk about. The problem with this one is I couldn't even find it on the National Center of Education Statistics because it's so new. So I'm not even able to get all of that data that I usually talk about. But yeah, mechatronics engineering is super cool. If you look up the salary score on Glassdoor, for instance, you're gonna see $90,000 a year. And if you look up mechatronics engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 1,100 results. So this is one that I do see growing a lot in the near future. Um, it's just super useful the way that they're doing stuff and the way that automation and AI is going. I see this being incredibly useful. But with that being said, right now, the statistics, is, the data is just not available. So I know everybody wants me to do like a very detailed video on this. And I really can't because the data is just not there. But with that being said, I'm going to put this one into A tier, but with an asterisk that the data is not there. And it's really just my opinion. So truly take this with a grain of salt. Network engineering is next on the list. And with this one, early career pays 56,000, mid career pays 90,000. Salary score is a paltry 57 for engineering degrees anyways. Demand score is 100. If you look it up on Glassdoor, you're gonna see network engineers make $90,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 36,000 results. So yeah, this is one where salary score is kind of low, but there's a lot of demand. Um, overall, you know, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C tier. Next one on the list is nuclear engineering. Early career pay is 72,000. Mid career pay is 122,000. Salary score is 95. Demand score is 40. Meaning is 63%, which is relatively high. If you look up nuclear engineer salary on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $92,000 a year. And if you look up nuclear engineering at the entry level on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 4,300 results. So I really have mixed opinions on this. First of all, uh, the subject of nuclear engineering is one of my favorite subjects. I think that 100 years from now, and maybe someone will find this and clip it, and then they'll watch it 100 years from now after I'm dead. But I think that 100 years from now, without a doubt, I, there's literally zero doubt in my mind that nuclear engineering is going to be the number one energy source. I would absolutely bet the house on this. But with that being said, right now, uh, nuclear engineering, uh, I, I have to be honest with you, I can't be biased about this, the numbers are not amazing. First of all, anything in the energy industry is always going to fluctuate a lot. You're probably going to end up getting laid off like five times throughout your life. And then there's just a lot of things that are outside of our control, like government regulations, uh, public stigma, and all kinds of things like that. So overall, I have to put nuclear engineering into C tier, but I am very bullish on it in the long run. Next one on the list is petroleum engineering. So with this one, early career pay is 94,000, mid career pay is 176,000. The salary score is a very good 100. The demand score is 34, which isn't so great, but the meaning is 72%. So people who go into petroleum engineering really enjoy it. And there's about 2,100 bachelor grads per year. According to Glassdoor, petroleum engineers make $92,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there is 1,600 results at the entry level. So this is another one that has gotten crushed recently. There was a lot of layoffs, of course. And again, energy industry, this is what you have to expect. But with that being said, petroleum engineers can make really, really good money. It's extremely lucrative. The demand can be up sometimes, down other times. And another downside with petroleum engineering is a lot of the time you can get into the same exact jobs with a chemical engineering degree, but you also have a lot of other options. So overall, I'm gonna put this one into C tier. All right, so definitely check out that interview with Antoine from Black Heights. I'll put that right here as well as a playlist of other interviews. Gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.